Hey everybody, Egan's Fundamental of Restory Care, Chapter 1. Hey, I'm Dennis with Restory Sensei, and I just started a new series, and this is the beginning of that. I am literally going to review this book with you in shorts in less than two minutes over the next year. Now, there's 58 chapters in here because there's a lot, and I don't know if I can do each chapter in one short, but I will try. But the thing is, I'm not going to focus on all the nerdy stuff in there. I want to focus on two things. One thing is anything in the clinical world that could change the way you take care of patients or enhances your ability to take care of patients. But the other thing is that what is on the NBRC exam? And the first thing I'll tell you is that, don't worry, most things in this book are not on the exam. And so I'm not going to cover all the nerdy stuff. So today we're going to start chapter one. The question is, what's in there that you need to know clinically and what would be on the NBRC exam? And here's the answer to that. Nothing in chapter one is that interesting. Like most textbooks, it starts off with the history of respiratory care. Literally, there's things that talk about the Enlightenment period and, and the Renaissance period and how the science came together to be the foundation of respiratory care. And if you're super nerdy, you might find that interesting, but in all likelihood, you're not gonna need to know any of that in clinical world. And certainly I've never seen anything like that on the MBRC exam. So you can almost skip chapter one. Now, if you are a nerd, you will find things in chapter one like old ventilators, some of the ventilators, the lung cuirass. There are some interesting facts there, but nothing that changes you where, the way you take care of patients. So that's Egan chapter one.